Hey. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry, I went, I went for a walk. I took some time to breathe, time to think. To really think about what you were saying. The first thing that I would like to say, the most important thing that I want to say, is that I'm sorry. I wasn't listening. I wasn't hearing you. I know that I wasn't feeling your needs, your thoughts, or your emotions, and honestly, I'm really sorry. Can I sit down? Is that, is that okay? Do you need space right now, or could we talk? Okay, thanks. I'll, I'll sit down. I'll join you. Okay, I want to start by saying that how much I appreciate you. It probably didn't seem like it an hour ago when we were arguing, but I do. I really appreciate you. When I look around this room, I see reminders of how much I appreciate you everywhere. The photos of the holidays we took last year. The way your smile shone. How happy you were. I didn't care about the hotel food. It wasn't as bad as I said it was. It didn't matter, really. All that mattered was how happy you were. Me and you alone in that beautiful hotel room. Your smile when you first walked out onto that beach. That was what mattered. I should have told you then. When I look at that reading chair in the corner of our apartment, all I can see is you there, curled up with your favourite book. Beautiful. Lost in a dreamy world of your choosing. Safe comfortable in our home that we built together. I'm ashamed for having gotten upset in your safe space. I know everyone gets emotional sometimes. Couples argue, even those that love each other as much as we do. But I'm, I'm still ashamed. I want you to always feel good when you come into your home, our home, safe, comfortable. I want the memories here to always be warm and welcoming. I want them to always remind you of how much I love you. I know it's a tall order to always be in a good mood, never to argue. And maybe we can't be that perfect. But I've got some ideas for me to try and approach things better. I want to show you how much you mean to me. How much I appreciate you. Every time I come into this room, I look at the painting you've been working on. It's beautiful. So much time and patience has gone into it. You're so very patient with the painting, with me, with the world. It shows how much you really care, care about things. And I appreciate that. When I look at these books, your, your bookshelf in the corner by your reading chair, I'm reminded of how intelligent you are. You are a very smart person, smarter than I will ever be. I appreciate that about you. When we're arguing, sometimes I forget how smart you are, how I should remember to listen to what you are saying, to entertain the possibility that I could be completely wrong. I mean, I probably am. You could very likely know more than I do. I forget that sometimes, how brilliant you are. Most of the time, I'm 
very aware of it. It makes me proud that you know, you're my lover, that you chose me, that someone so intelligent chose to be with me. You're my ally and my partner. I feel, I feel very, very lucky, honestly. But sometimes when I'm not listening, I forget that because I'm stupid and I'm so sorry. I know that sorry on its own isn't, doesn't mean anything. It's not very helpful, but come, like being sorry without change isn't enough. So I have some ideas that I think will help. I'm willing to do the work to make our lives happier. I shouldn't call it work. It isn't work. It's love. I'm willing to love how I need to, to show you how much I appreciate you. First for me comes breathing, meditation in the mornings. And when I come home from my job, even just for a few minutes to clear my mind, shed the stress of the day so it doesn't spill out onto you. So it doesn't bring anxiety to our place of comfort and solace. Your home. Exercise, that comes next. I'm gonna pull my bike out of the shed and go for rides, regular rides. Get back in shape. I know I've got a bit of a gut going on at the moment. And I'd, I would happily have you join me. I would love you to. I'm going to go for more walks. I'll even renew that gym membership that you got me. I think being healthy is, is key for, for learning patience, learning how to listen, learning how to love you better. Can I come closer now? Is that okay? That's better. This is how I want to remember our living room. Me holding you, playing with your hair, rubbing your neck. This is a memory I want you to have of me tonight. Not the earlier me, tired from work, irritable, not listening. That isn't the me I want to be. That isn't who you need me to be, and I know that. I know your space is sacred, and you are sacred to me. When we're close like this, when I'm holding you in my arms, feeling you breathe, I feel complete. I don't want to lose you because I didn't bring you the love you needed. I want to show you that love every day. I can't be perfect, but I can try. When I touch your skin like this, so soft, I feel your emotions beneath the surface. I feel when you're upset, when you're calm, when you feel loved. I can feel your breathing right now against my chest. Has that calmness now, that comfort, that sacredness you share with me. Your heartbeat, it's a mantra for me. A meditation that brings me comfort. I can hear it now. I can listen. I can hear you really listen. I've said what I needed you to hear, how much I care, how much I appreciate you, how I'm willing and able to love better for you, for us. We don't even have to speak for me to hear you. Your body tells me what I need to hear. The words can come from when you want them to. We can just lay here now in our comfortable living room on your comfy couch, 
in your sacred space. The lights dim. I'll play with your hair. Let your body teach me how to breathe, how to remain calm, how to listen, how to love. <laughs>